Hey everybody, it's me again. Today I'm working on a random abstract piece that I decided to do because I had all these old tubes of paint and for you guys who know me, I hate throwing away stuff. I try to get every last penny. When I purchase something, I always get my money's worth. So I decided to do this abstract piece um, today and just, um, you know, just, just use up this paint. Um, some time ago, I can't even remember where or who, I saw something similar. So today I am using, as you see there, it's a paint scraper. I'm gonna use a paint scraper to complete this piece. So just kind of watch while I squeeze the life out of these tubes so that I can have the last bit of paint. Um, some of them had dried up that I just had to throw it away, you know, but some of them still had something in them that I could use. So that's kind of what I did. So just kind of, you'll see my process. There's my paint scraper. You see some of the paint was hard inside the tubes and stuff, so... <laughs> Yeah, I, I really enjoyed working on this piece it was it was really fun because you know not knowing how the colors would blend together what colors I would be able to use you know it was kind of like a behind kind of stuff I was doing here so yeah. and in the meantime I had a friend of mine working on the other side of my studio um, I bought a box fan instead of the little nine inch fan. I bought a 20 inch fan and I made a bigger spin machine. And this one, it spins a lot faster than the other one when I put a canvas on it because the problem I had with the one that I was using, when I put bigger canvases on there, it slowed down and it didn't distribute the paint on the canvas like I wanted it to. So he was nice enough to come and do that for me today so I decided while they were doing that I would um, I would go ahead and do this piece so let's kind of look and let's see how the colors come together on this one the thing I like about abstract paint and you don't have an order or structure to it and even if you mess up some parts of it, nobody really knows. <laughs> Whereas like when you're doing a portrait, if you mess something up, everybody can see it. But with this, it's just, you know, according to how you feel. You go with the flow, you use whatever colors that you wanna use and you know, do whatever you wanna do. And I think that's why I've been doing so many abstract now and I haven't done a portrait or any type of, you know, drawing for quite a while. But I'll get back into that because I really love doing it. But this right now, it's kind of, it's kind of what I'm feeling, kind of what I feel like doing. And my moods change. Sometimes you might see me draw for like months at a time, and then I'll just stop drawing or painting portraits and do these things. You know, I've been getting into like making, restoring tables. I have a video coming up with a table that I restored and I put some of my artwork on it uh, and I'm actually learning to use power tools for you guys yeah I'm learning to use power tools I'm about to buy a jigsaw so I can start using that I just want to learn I'm, I'm just in that place where I want to learn as much as I can as far as art and creating stuff I just want to keep learning I just had a little trouble with this canvas because oh, because of how small it is, there's no second piece of wood in the middle of it. So when I press the the um, paint scraper down, it's not getting all the paint to, to you know to drag all the paint the way I wanted it to. But you know, keep looking. It, I I love the way it turned out at the end. You'll see.
on um, don't forget uh, if you want to see more of my work you can go to my um, Instagram which is art by W King or if you want to purchase any of my portrait paintings you can go to art by king.net you can purchase them on there um, you know everything that I do on my YouTube channel I always take a picture of the finished product and put it on my Instagram page so if for some reason you're looking at these and you don't get to watch everything, you can always go check out my Instagram and you'll see the finished product. And, um, you know, thanks to my new subscribers, thanks to the people who watch my videos. I have a few people that are very faithful when it comes to watching my videos. And, you know, I want to give a shout out to Cindy and to my bestie at Life Cycle 360 um they are the two people sometimes before i could even log back in and look at the video or even see that it's been up they've already watched it so i want to say a big shout out to you and you guys check out life cycle 360 tt if you want to learn about corrective exercises if you want to learn proper posture proper proper form you know if you want to learn about first aid or just different things concerning to your, your health your physical health um, she is a certified paramedic. She is also an exercise correction specialist. So check out, she has a YouTube channel, Life Cycle 360. And you can always email her there with questions or anything like that in the comments and she will respond to you. You know, sometimes we go to the gym and we have a trainer that just tells us do squats, do push-ups, whatever. And it's, you know, we're not always sure about form and we're not always sure about a lot of things. So she posts videos that teach you about things like that. So check her out. So anyway, I think I'm coming to the end of this video. So um, don't forget to like and subscribe and um, continue watching. Tell a friend, share with somebody. And, um, you know, continue to take this journey with me. I post every Saturday and every Tuesday. So if you're interested, when you subscribe, you'll get the notification. Don't get turned on your notifications so you will know when I post another video. Okay, so I'm going to leave you now. So thank you for watching again, and I'll see you next time, next Tuesday. Okay, bye now.